In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the, the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of souls willed that the Bishop St. Francis de Sales become all things to all. Graciously grant that following his example, we may always display the gentleness of your charity in the service of our neighbor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Samuel. That night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David. Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? I have not dwelt in a house from the day on which I led the children of Israel out of Egypt to the present, but I have been going about in a tent under cloth. In all my wanderings everywhere among the children of Israel, did I ever utter a word to any one of the judges whom I charge to tend my people Israel to ask, Why have you not built me a house of cedar? Now then, speak thus to my servant David. The Lord of hosts has this to say. It was I who took you from your pasture and from the care of the flock, to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes 
and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who also built a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. And if he does wrong, I will correct with a rod of men and with human chastisements. But I will not withdraw my favor from him as I withdrew it from your predecessor Saul, whom I removed from my presence. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. Nathan reported all these words and this entire vision to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will make your dynasty stand forever and establish your throne through all ages. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. He shall cry to me, You are my father, my God, the rock that brings me victory. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Forever I will maintain my love for him. My covenant with him stands firm. I will establish his dynasty forever, his throne as the days of the heavens. Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables, and in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprung up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and choked it and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear, 
ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside every, but to those outside, everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see but not perceive, and hear and listen but do not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower saws the word of God. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the, the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots. They last only for a time. Then when tribulation and persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of one of the saints who reformed or who was one of, who was part of the of the reformation of the church during the modern times in the name of Saint Francis de Sales and the uh, we are also joined today in this our Eucharistic celebration with our brothers and sisters from Sambales as they also celebrate and remember the, pray the prayers and the intercession of Inapo on Bato. And for those who would like to pray to her image, the image of Inapo on Bato is uh, available for veneration inside the St. Pius Chapel just on your right before you enter the cathedral. If there are words or a statement that could probably summarize our readings for today, I would readily go to the response that we all said a while ago in the responsorial psalm. And we said the words, Forever I will maintain my love for my servant. Sa kanya mananatili ang aking pag-ibig. Hindi naman po kailanman natin pinagdadamot ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Mahal niya ang mga mabubuti, gayon din ang mga masama. Mahal niya ang mahihirap, gayon din niya kamahal ang mga may kaya. Mahal ng Diyos ang lahat na nilikha niya sa mundo, kaya gayon din yung kanyang natatanging pagmamahal sa pinakamagandang nilikha niya, ang tao, ikaw at ako. And in all of His creation, He wished to make this love be known and to dwell in. But the Lord wishes to have this present entirely to a person like you and me who deserve it the most. And that is how God is maintaining His love for His servant, His servant that is you and me. 
God's covenant to David is God's love for him. Hindi naman ito pinaramdam ng Diyos sa isang halaman, sa isang bagay, sa isang hayop, o sa anumang mga bagay. Nilinaw niya at ipinahayag niya ang kanyang pag-ibig sa tao, sa kanyang lingkod, sa kung sino ang nararapat makatanggap at makayakap nito at makaintindi nito ng buo. Likewise, much as well, when Jesus spoke of the seed of spoke of the seed planted by the sower yes the seed can be everywhere it can be for everyone but its best destination the best seedbed is at the heart of each and every one of us god's word his seed can be for everyone but is but it is specially for all of us. My dear brothers and sisters, God can be anywhere. God can make His will known to each and every one of us, to all of His creation. But He wanted to be specially for you every day. While remaining fair and good to every creation, He is much gracious to shower His love and His dedication, His seeds, to humans like you and me. Because the perfect receiver and destination of God's graciousness is no other than you and me. That is how He is maintaining His love to each and every one of us. We are not the ones working on or maintaining this love, but it will always be the Lord who will maintain this love. Much as He is willing to share this divine life, every time that we are directed by the Lord to wherever we wish, by every moment kung saan tayo ay pinapalinawan na at binibigang daan ng Panginoon. That is His way of maintaining His love for us. Nasa Diyos, nais ng Diyos na mapanatili ang pag-ibig na ito sa atin at gagawa siya ng paraan na paano mapapatibay ito. Sana po, mapalabanan, mapaalalahanan tayo nito harinawa, magustuhan din po natin ito. At sa pag, pagpapatuloy ng buhay, mapatibay po sana tayo ng pag-ibig na ito. Please stand. Christ teaches us through the parables. Christ is the sower of the seed of God's word. Let us respond to his work by praying to the Father. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in the world may be like the rich soil, yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the word of god in our lives let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may experience the healing power of christ let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who have died may enjoy the light 
happiness, and peace in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass. In a very special way, we join our beloved Rector, Monsignor Orlando de la Cruz, as we also join him in thanking the Lord for the gift of 65 meaningful and colorful years. May the Lord bless him with health, with holiness, and with perseverance in this holy vocation. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other and for our own intentions. For all of these we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in your service, and so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through this saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, Kindle in our hearts that divine fire of the Holy Spirit with which you wonderfully inflamed the most gentle soul of St. Francis de Sales through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Francis de Sales, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and and gave you thanks and and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis de Sales and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art who in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through the sacraments we have received, we may imitate on earth the charity and meekness of St. Francis de Sales, and so attain, like him, the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the second week of our Wednesday Family Rosary. It will be at the same time slot at 9 p.m. at 9 p.m. and the host will be the Archdiocesan Shrine and Parish Parish of Saint James the Greater in Ibaan, Batangas. We hopefully invite our family members and our communities to gather as one and pray to the Blessed Virgin for her prayers and protection for every family and for our own needs. Again, let us uh, join our Rector, Monsignor Orlando de la Cruz, as we thank the Lord for the gift of life uh, granted unto him. We say a short prayer for him and entrust him to the loving protection of the Blessed Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Last, uh, isang paalala dang lang din po. We are fast approaching the Lenten season, and uh, to all of you who would like to uh, give your all the blessed palm branches, please do surrender them uh, at our cathedral office and uh, they shall be burned a day before the Ash Wednesday and we shall be using it for the imposition of ashes on Ash Wednesday on uh, February 14. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.